Welcome to part 8 of the audio visualization tutorial in Unity by PeerPlay. In the previous part we added a variable to get the total amplitude of our audio. In this part we will take the first step into fixing our audio profile before we run our application. Let's have a look at our scene. As you can see, in the first few seconds the values are tripping because of a missing profile of highest values. A few seconds later, things appear more smooth. We are going to fix this issue by applying higher values to our audio profile. Let's head over to our audio pair class. And to fix our problem we need to adjust our frequency band highest. These values will update live to our highest amplitude plane in our frequencies. So let me change this to a public so we can see what is happening. And at this moment the start value of these frequency band highest numbers are 0 and we want to increase this at the start so we are going to do that into a, a new void. So let's create a void and we'll call this audio profile and inside the audio profile we will create a new for loop and we're going to loop through all the frequency band highest values and apply their number to a certain value. And instead of running the audio profile into the update, we are going to add it into the start function. So we'll say here, audio profile. Now we still need to pass through a value to set, so we're going to add a new public float. And we'll call this the audio profile float. Now we want to pass this audio profile float to the audio profile function. So let's create inside the audio profile a float to get and we'll call this audio profile. And now that we have a float here we can add it inside here and say that we want to use the audio profile. And of course the audio profile will be set to the frequency band highest. Now let's save our script and go back to Unity. Now here you can view the frequency band highest public floats and also the audio profile flow that we created. But before I'm going to set this from zero to something higher, I'm going to first show you an example of the audio and how these numbers react to it. So at this point you can see that the audio is present into the element 1, 2 and 3, but not so much in 0 and 4 to 7. So as long as these values are around 0 point, the visualization will not work correctly. So now I'm going to set the audio profile to 5 from start to a higher value and all these different values will be 5 from start. And that should result in a more smooth behavior from start in the audio visualization. As you can see, there is now a very smooth behavior from the very start in our visualization. Now we don't need our frequency band highest values to be public, so head over to our audio pair class and just change the frequency band highest to a private float. Save that, and then in Unity you can see there is only the audio profile. Thank you for watching this tutorial part. If you would like to stay updated to new tutorials, subscribe to my channel by clicking the icon on the left. See you next time.